Hello and welcome. I got asked whether there is a way to fake motion blur in KDN Live, so that's what we're gonna do. We're not going to use an effect, we're gonna use a lot of tracks with transitions between them. First up, if your tracks are very, uh, take up very, mu very much vertical space, make sure they are small. And uh, remove all audio tracks, is my recommendation, and add a bunch of video tracks. I can just press enter, right click, move to the right, enter. Let's uh, go with nine tracks. We'll add a little bit more space, we'll zoom in very much. And what we're gonna do first, we're gonna add our clip to the first track. And we're gonna make a copy, we're gonna select it, press Ctrl C, and then go to the second frame and hold our mouse over the second track and paste with Control V. Let's give us some more space even. What we're gonna do now is click on the bottom left corner. I'm just gonna, ah, this is the maximum zoom. Let's see, does this work? Yeah. So clicking there created this transition. Um, and we can do this with the darken or the lighten transition. They both have strange side effects if the camera is not static and if uh, objects move back and forth. But we're just trying to fake it, so that'll be fine. I also like to use, so I prefer the darken, uh, but if you have Cario Blend, use that with darken and set the opacity to yeah, let's say 100 the first time. And now move uh, the playhead to the, well, to the third frame. Hold down shift to select the second uh, track clip and the transition. Copy it, hold the mouse over the third track over here and paste. And this time we're gonna change this to 95 and now we're gonna shift drag to select two of these go to the fourth track hold the mouse over here and paste and now we're gonna change this one to 90 and this one to 85 and how much do we have left one two three four so let's select one two, three, four. Gonna go to the next step, paste over here. And uh, we were at 85, we're gonna change this to 80. And 75. And 70. And 65. And if we move our cursor over here, it's going to be quite slow. We can see a smudged effect. So what we're going to do now, we're going to render this. For this, we uh, go with the playhead to the first frame of, um, of this clip at the top. Actually, let's go to the second for security. I'm going to press I on the keyboard to set the insert point, in point. And we're going to go back here. <clears throat> Very slow, unfortunately, on my machine. We could go to this last frame and then we would have a weird effect at the end where this um, this blur effect would slowly stop existing during the last nine frames. But we're just gonna go to this frame here and press O here. And this is it, this is a five second clip. We're gonna render it. Remember to, sel to select select zone, selected zone. And I'm going to render it as an MP4 uh, motion blur. So let's render it and take a look at it. As you can see, this is a very smudged effect. And um, what we're going to do is we are going to change the blend mode to lighten of all these transition to just get a feel for how these different transitions 
affect the end result. You have to be a bit careful when clicking on these tracks and uh, transitions. Don't move anything by accident. You should probably make some save copies also. All right, lighten, everything is lightened. And as you can see, it's much brighter, but it's basically the same effect, maybe just reversed. Anyways, let's render it. So this is what this looks like when we use lighten. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try the stock darken filter. So no Cario, I'm not even sure it's available for everybody. Let's just switch to darken, 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 darken. And we're gonna just check what kind of difference it makes. And of course, let's render it again. And this is what this looks like. So for our last test, we're just going to use the stock lighten transition. And this is what this looks like. You can of course add many more tracks or remove some. For example, let's make uh, just one example where we have only three transitions between four tracks. So this is how you basically do it. You layer one video clip multiple times, delay each of them by one frame and add various uh, transitions between them of the same kind. So uh, if you have any other suggestions which transitions to use, please write a comment. Feel free to ask any other questions about Kenyan Life and please like and subscribe. Please enjoy this compilation of all of the results and see you in the next video. Ciao!